What's going on guys? How you doing? So today's video I want to kind of go over some aspects of hoarding and what I feel like is a pretty solid way to hoard. Um, and, and while we're hoarding here, what is like the best way to, you know, somewhat still work on characters, but main main emphasis here is still hoarding. So like we, uh, we all know, um, we're going to have new Rey and Kylo coming here soon. Um, they, they did say that it's going to be not the final version of the Rey and Kylo in the movie. So like no spoilers, but it's not going to be, uh, it's not going to be those guys at the very end of the movie. Um, but if I were to still bet they have artwork here for a reason, it's most likely I would probably say it's going to be like 99% sure and certain that's going to be a Supreme Leader Kylo with like some leader ability or something like that. Um, that's really cool. And same thing with Rey, Jedi Rey. So we're going to have those two. I'm not going to go into, you know, what I would go for in, in, in your hoarding. Um, or maybe we can a little bit, like, whether you want to go all in on, on you know, either Rey or if you want to go all in on Kylo. Personally, I I love First Order. I love Kylo's character more than Rey's by a long shot. So I'm going to personally probably go more for Kylo. Um, but I'm going to probably just uh, go over the uh, entirety of hoarding, and not just hoarding for these two characters in particular. However, I will update you guys if I am pretty dang close to unlocking one or the other. Um, but I highly, highly doubt you're going to be able to get both if you hoard. You're going to probably need to spend some money for getting both. But to get one or the other, you're going to just probably be be pretty good, I'd say, for hoarding. Um, and we don't know any of these, uh, um, you know, the info on this. We're going to probably get some more info down this this. Uh, Later this later this month down the line, and uh, we'll see the entire thing there. Um, and we still haven't even seen Poe's kit yet, and how how that'll work with uh, with the whole team. But to get this started, hoarding is it is not my favorite way to play this game. However, it is probably the most effective way to play this game if you guys want to stay competitive. So first off, we're gonna go over my GP. You can see my GP is four point seven. I could easily I could easily be hitting five mil if I wanted to right now, but the reason I I'm not going to do that is because I there's a couple things when it comes to hoarding I just I I kind of like but there's some I don't like. So the ones I do like is the main things are Zetas. So for example, my Zetas here I'm going to probably Zeta this guy here in a little bit, maybe even during this video for Arc Trooper. So you can see here I have 86 Zetas, which really equates out to four I can place on somebody. Guys, do not. I, I know there's probably people out there who who uh, who have a they, they struggle with this with placing Zetas whenever they feel like. But really, if you guys if there's no worthwhile Zetas, there's no good Zetas, just hoard on to them. You'll never know when you're going to need a Zeta. I, I I think this is one of the most important things. And uh, you know, same thing with Omegas. I for some reason just like to hoard them. <laughs> I've always I've always um, had a. Uh, pretty huge influx of omegas but the thing here is uh zetas you guys gotta hoard zetas so you know um i'm gonna try to do the, the the cam mission for you know feeding defeating the reek and trying to get that guy so i'm actually gonna zeta him um but you know for the most part i probably wouldn't weigh zetas the last one I did beforehand was shock t so you know I, i'm gonna work on everybody for that mission and now since i just placed a zeta on arc i'm gonna be hoarding up until the next event for the Ray or Kylo. Like I said, I'm going to go for Kylo. So Zetas is a huge thing. You guys should really just hoard onto them, you know, no matter what. Um, if there's a good Zeta that you'd like, oh my gosh, I have to get this. This is going to work amazingly with, you know, X and, and Y team, you know, maybe you should go for that. But for the most part, you know, probably want to hang on to them. So that's the first part is Zetas and, and hoarding those. The next part is your gear. Um, the gear here is the biggest thing for sure. Um, and maybe I should have said this for last, but I'm going to put it here as a second thing. The, the gear here, it is very, very hard for me at least. And I'm sure it's for you guys um, out there. It's really hard to hoard gear because everybody needs gear in this game. And we all know there's a, there's a big gear crunch right now. And I'm hoping that the game uh, or CG rather can fix that and kind of alleviate it more than it is right now. Um, so of course the biggest one right now is the Kyrotex. So let's start off here with Kyrotech. So these are ones that as you just hoard your 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 energies, your your crystals, you're going to most likely be able to just buy these straight up, you know, just don't even worry about this. Um, what I would what I found rather to to be most effective when it comes to buying and just, you know, getting and acquiring these these uh, Kyrotechs is just getting them from the championship store. So like for example, I'm going to buy some here right now. 
and, and just doing this. Um, we're going to get into the guild event store as well and stuff like that. But for the most part, when it comes to Kyrat Stacks, you just buy them straight up out of the, the championship store. So that's another reason why the GAC is not totally garbage when it comes to the... Eh, it is garbage for rewards, but those championship store tokens, they are kind of nice for Kyrat Stacks. And with that, you get some every day when you just do your daily login stuff. And uh, I wouldn't really farm these at all. Like I said, just accumulate them over time. You know, you're doing your dailies. Once you get, you know, 25, you can just buy the next 25 for 700. You should be pretty dang good. Um, but that really, Kyrotex here, guys, is only to get people to gear 13. For the most part, if it's not like a brand new character, um, like a Shock T or, you know, a Malak or somebody like that to, that's uh, that has Kyrotex before gear 13, probably you don't want to, uh, you don't want to, uh, you know, spend them all right there. You want to kind of hoard a little bit. Um, but that's Kyrotex for me. The next piece here um, is uh, I want to go over is these med packs and kind of just gear 12 or where, where are they? These med packs here. Um, these med packs and really just any gear 12 plus piece or gear 12 piece in general is something that I, uh, I, I'm i not fully there yet when it comes to, you know, the, the guide and, and what I feel like is the most effective way to farm them. But typically... I just get these things not from really doing these fleet battles because I, I do like to farm other characters and nodes there. But what I find to be the most useful here is just to go to the shard store and, and whenever they pop up, you just buy them straight up off the bat. You know, you're going like right here. You're gonna you're gonna get some really decent gear not only from you know the uh, the gear 12 plus piece which I would highly recommend buying these when you see them in the store. A lot of characters need the med packs more than anything in the game. So med packs, not just you know those uh, the gear 12 ones that are the, the purple versions, but also this one right here. Um, it's not a med pack, but it's a furnace. This furnace you need some med packs with it. Those two I would say are one of the most gear crunch type of pieces of gear 12. Um, and also, you know, we, we will go over this a little bit later, but also this piece here. Pretty much, though, this shard store is where I buy my cuffs, my my implants here, carbs whenever they show up, and most importantly, my guns. So whenever I see guns, you got to buy guns there because that's probably the only good way in this whole strategy of getting your guns. Um, and also from raids. Raids and all that sort of stuff is just stuff you accumulate you know slowly at a pretty decent pace you know if you want to you can you can go out of your way and do some marks in different guilds to try to get those those rewards from the hstr a little bit more quick and more efficiently um so you know raids and, and doing your tws and stuff like that you're going to get a pretty decent chunk of those if you're going to be hoarding um so my next one i want to go over here is carbs really from after chirotex and med packs for the most part because i find those to be some of the most gear 12 plus heavy things and trying to get gear 13s unlocked outside of those things the next ones are the main ones you know the carbs the guns like ones we kind of just went over the eyeballs and the, the cuffs those four um and, and like i just said with the guild store um or not guild store the shard stop the shard shop i would probably put most of my resources when it comes to that stuff and getting those things acquired through that store right there and also the next thing here is the guild store the guild store and the shard shop are the two best ways to get this gear stuff unlocked so i'm gonna buy this straight off straight up off the bat um and those things are those are the most the most annoying things to farm so just if you guys if you guys want to have like you know an idea of how long i've been farming here for getting you know we can already see 200 cuffs 200 of these implants i do have if you guys want to know four carbs I get a lot of carbs because you guys know carbs are acquired from the daily challenges. So for those things, we can come here to Hux and see how many I have. I got about 650 almost, 641. And for these, I have 200. So yeah, like I said, the the, the guns are really the worst part to this. Um, so this is, like I said, I've been hoarding. Um, how long I've been hoarding? Well, it's been around three weeks, I would say. Three, maybe a month of hoarding. And just doing my my uh, my bare minimums for the energies and uh, or not bare minimums. What am I saying there? Doing the you know the the maximum of stuff of farming shards, but also putting some decent amount of effort towards my my gear. So that's when when it comes to the gear side of things. You know you have the the med packs, you have the Kyrotex. Those are the two big ones for gear 12 plus and stuff like that. And then you have just the main, you know, the the, the the annoying ones, you know, the carbs and such and all those guns and, you know, those things there. So that's the gear side of things. You pretty much just like a TLDR there and a wrapping up of the gear. 
you just slowly acquire these things from just normally playing. Um, when it comes to, you know, specific gear pieces like the guns, and even carbs to that extent, because those are, for me at least, I need a lot of those. Um, you just buy them from Guild Store and also the Charge Shop. That's pretty much all I can say there. Never waste your currency here on any gear when it comes to the Get Currency Store. You never want to do that. These shops are now only for acquiring shards for Negotiator, Malevolence, Malak, and now General Skywalker. Once you guys get those maxed out, then I would probably say to work on some other gear pieces. But you know CG is going to throw in more characters here. So I would probably still hoard this for the entirety of you playing Galaxy of Heroes. That's just how it's going to be. Um, and uh, we're not going to go over mods in this video. But yeah, you know, just this store, that's Kyrotex. This store is everything else you need. Like those Gear 12 Plus, those med packs, and those those furnaces, and even the other pieces that we need. That we mentioned that are the annoying pieces. So, that's gear. Gear is annoying to farm. But, you know, like I said, after farming, I would say hoarding for, you know, three to four weeks now. It's I've had, I'm at a good spot, and I'm still going to hoard. I would still uh, say we're going to be in around a month or so away from ac the actual event for these characters. We still haven't even had, you know, the Huxes, the Sith Troopers, and Finn been going free to play live. So whenever they do, then I would expect to farm a little bit harder. So my next point here, chatting about characters, is the shards to these characters. This video is going to be a very long video, I know, but I thought I'd make this video because this is kind of important stuff, I'd say, for these new events. So... Like I said, I just mentioned the Hux, Sith Trooper, and these the, this new Finn. So, I'm not even going to touch these guys until they are free-to-play farmable. If we happen to see the kits to, you know, Kylo and Rey around the same time that they go free-to-play farmable, I would probably double up on my, my energies, but also... As I'm acquiring, you know, crystals, extra crystals from my daily or from my uh, my arenas, then I'd probably buy some shipments of these crystals because I do want to maximize and try to get this character unlocked for Kylo. Um, so that's what I would do for those guys. But for the ones that we currently probably will need for first order and resistance, um, we're gonna go over here really fast. Um, for first order, I kind of have everything here. I'm just kind of waiting for General Hux and, and Sith Trooper to go free to play farmable. So a good, um, a good showcase of this, I guess, and a good thing to show you guys is for what I just did here on the resistance. So I, my resistance are not the best. So what I'm trying to do here to ensure that I have a good shot of getting, you know, one or the other for Ray or Kylo, I have been doing for whatever the main farm is for what I'm doing. I always, we're not going to do more. I always do. You know, we do we do a full refresh here, which is one. You do another refresh. You got to refresh the attempts. That's two. Refresh attempts three, four for a hundred, and five for another hundred. So that's five, five times uh, whatever the five. So five times five is twenty-five. If you're doing twenty-five attempts a day. That is what I would say is a solid um, farming, you know, effectiveness when it comes to trying to get these crystals, um, or not crystals, the, the shards going for you. So I already have rows. I did I did rows in around a week or two. Just doing that from, you know, from, uh, what was it, from, like, around mid mid of 6-star to 7-star. To so, I'd say, like, 100 and, 100 and, I don't know, what would that be, 100-ish crystals, or 100-ish shards. So, you know, the one I'm doing currently for this, and what I'm trying to show you guys is, I just got this Falcon maxed out. Um, I'm going to work on the levels here, or just maybe just hoard that stuff as well. Just hoard everything. Then, you know, that's, that's just how this game is. But for this one, to if you guys want to get an idea of how long it took me to max this out, I had this one not even unlocked around a month and a half ago. And since then, I've been doing this, farming her, doing the five attempts. Um, so 25 battles every single day. I've now gotten this maxed out, and it's taken me around, you know, a month and a half. So if you want to, you know, have an idea of that, you get like a month and a half, you can get one from not... From barely anything to max in around a month and a half. Um, you could probably even lower that to, you know, just one month if you wanted to, if you want to do more attempts. And that's where crystals come into play here. You gotta you gotta kind of get some good crystal income. You know, getting first in both arenas is extremely huge. And like I said in, in the recent QA, if they take away crystals from these these uh these payouts, that is going to be so detrimental to people who want to hoard and play this game somewhat free to play. And I hope that hopefully they, they don't do that. Um, so what have we we've been over so far? We've been over gear, um, what to look for, and now we kind of went over shards for farming. And, and to wrap up the shards for farming, if you guys, like I said, if you want to go for Ray or Kylo, well, let's for example say like for me, for instance, I'm going to go for Kylo. 
So for first order, I still need to get gear for for potentially Hux, Sit Trooper, and now First Order Special Forces TIE Fighter. So what you would want to do there is check out their .gg page and see what the what all the gear they need to get to gear you know 11, 12, maybe even gear 13, and hoard up all that stuff to ensure that you can get them to those right levels for the event. And that's just what you got to do here for the gear. Um, and for First Order in the ships... You know, you got to get the characters good first before you can even work on them. And for this character's ships, the command shuttle, I still need to farm this one up all the way. And, uh, you know, if you really want to take anything away that the TLDR of farming your shards, I would say before we get any info on these events and you're just kind of blindly farming, for example, like, uh, you know, um, for this this command shuttle, I would, I would do um, five... Five attempts, so five refreshes, 25 attempts every single day. Um, and just seeing how that does for you, I would probably say if I do this right now and I do five, 25 attempts every day on this character, on this ship rather, I'd probably get this one done in uh, a week or so because I only need 40 more crystals. So that's kind of how these go. Um, they are they are very annoying. They're time consuming. And uh, all while you're doing this, Let's just say, you know, I've been farming up, um, let's, because I just got the Raised Falcon done. Let's just say and give you guys an idea of how many crystals I still acquired from doing that. So I did, uh, did five, uh, 25 attempts, so five refreshes. And all while doing that on that and getting that seven star from like the last three to four weeks, almost a month or so, I went from around, uh, you know, 5k crystals, or maybe 6k, and I doubled my crystals almost in just over a month. And that's just of how this hoarding is. And that's just how you got to play the game now if you guys want to get the next best thing uh, or have a good shot, a decent shot at doing that. So like I said, I'll update you guys. If I am close to getting this new Galactic Legend, I would really rather not spend to uh, to get it. I would really hope I don't have to. So I'm going to try to do as much hoarding as possible for this. And I think with that being said, um, I think I covered everything I wanted to today. Um, you know, just, you know, I think some of the main things here is, um, yeah, you can, you can just hoard casually, but if you really want to make a huge, a huge step and a huge, um, change into your hoarding to make sure you, you really are going to be good for unlocking that character, well, it breaks down to those other characters that are possibly needed. So for those ones, like for example, we just got Hux and Sith Trooper, like I said earlier, Try to farm those guys' gear. Like, let's say if they need 200 carbs, make sure you have 200 carbs and, and try to hit those gear requirements to hit them to gear 12 at least, I would say. And and that's one of the big things. You know, you, you can just casually hoard everything, but really if you want to maximize your hoarding stuff here, you got you to gotta hit those specific characters to make sure that you do get them to that correct level. And we, like I said, we don't know how these uh, these characters are going to be released for Rey and Kylo. We have no idea. We just know that from past and previous events, we've like, for example, you know, General Skywalker. We needed we needed um, Shock T. She was a marquee, and since then, marquees have pretty much been needed for these new events. So you know, Hux, Sith Trooper, this new Poe and Finn, they will be needed for. Um, this new Ray and Kylo. It's just going to be one of those things you guys got to get up. And that's how CG makes their money. And that's where we're trying to maximize our farms is to make sure that we do, in fact, get them maxed out or close to max out before the event starts and goes live. And and with them saying they're going to give us a little bit more time to farm these things, I'm really hoping that I can get one of these guys unlocked without spending too much money. And hopefully you guys can too. Um, I don't know if this video was too helpful to many of you guys out there, but I don't typically hoard, guys, and I just really wanted to share share with you guys what, you know, around a month or so worth of hoarding looks like. Um, I think it's pretty decent with, with what I've been doing, and uh, since then, since the month started with me farming and hoarding, I'm, I'm really trying to hit up on these specific things and trying to maximize everything. So that's just how this video is and how I wanted to, to direct this to you guys. Hopefully you guys didn't lose any interest because this can be a very, very lame video if you guys think of it like that but uh hey i i want to do some videos like this every once in a while so hopefully you guys enjoyed this if you guys did enjoy this and you found it informative in any way feel free to like it and share it around um and also if you guys are new here to the channel please uh feel free to sub 
Um, we do have a Discord if you guys want to go check out that, and I can uh, chat with you up there if you need any help. Um, and a couple ways to support the channel if you guys would like to. Um, we have a Patreon, and I have some updated um, tiers to Patreon, and I'm going to update some for memberships. So if you guys want to, I can do some Ross reviews for a specific um, level of Patreon slash memberships for the channel, and I can I can go over your 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 roster and see what you can work on. And that's a good kind of tie-in to end this video. If you guys need any help, I can always help you there. So thank you guys for watching. Um, until next time, I'll see you all later.